Street Fighter VI is the seventh primary installment in the Street Fighter series. Its announcement took place on February 21, 2022, and the game was officially released on June 2, 2023, for various platforms including PlayStation 5, when you PlayStation 4, Xbox Series XS, not like a game. and PC via Steam. During ending. the Game Awards 2022, a type arcade version exclusive to Japan was confirmed and is scheduled for release in 2023. Right the game scene. initially features a roster of 18 fighters yeah. upon launch, with additional characters planned to be introduced after the game's release. The first downloadable content season will bring forth an additional four fighters, expanding the roster to a total of 22. Each character is accompanied by their unique theme song. Notably, bolded characters indicate those making their playable debut in Street Fighter VI. Kami White, also known as Killer B, is a popular character from the Street Fighter video game series, debuting in Super Street Fighter II as the second female fighter. Initially, she was a dangerous clone assassin working for Shadala but later joined MI6 to serve the British government. Kami is known for her strength, determination, and commitment to justice. She is also friendly and respectful towards her friends, including Delta Red, Chun-Li, and Gaia, and even helps strangers like Ryu. In Street Fighter VI, Kami's appearance has undergone significant changes. While she still has her trademark forelock, her hair is now shoulder-length and blonde. Her outfit includes a dark blue sports bra and yoga pants with white trimmings featuring hexagonal patterns along the sides of her legs. She also wears dark blue socks and red calf high combat boots, as well as red gauntlets that protect her right forearm. Her attire is completed with a black choker bearing a delta red triangle emblem and a light blue denim jacket with long sagging straps and the United Kingdom flag on the back. In Street Fighter VI game, Kami's heavy special moves can be boosted by holding punch or kick. This slight delay enhances the heavy spiral arrow, cannon spike, and hooligan combination moves and grants them similar properties to their OD versions without any additional cost. Additionally, Kami has new follow-up moves from hooligan combination, such as the reverse edge overhead axe kick and silent step feint, which make it a more menacing tool for mixing up her attacks. Lily, also known as the Spirit Listener, is a character in the Street Fighter franchise and is a newcomer to Street Fighter VI. She belongs to the Thunderfoot tribe, alongside T, Hawk and Julie. Lily, hailing from the Thunderfoot tribe, maintains a strong spiritual connection with the natural world. She embarks on a global journey, seeking guidance from the spirits that guide her path. It's important not to judge her based on her small stature, as her true power is nothing short of monumental. I would like to highlight the excitement of having a successor to T, Hawk and Street Fighter VI before discussing her design. T, Hawk is a memorable character from the Street Fighter II series, and while not everyone may consider him their favorite design, I personally found him to be a source of entertainment, charisma, and enjoyable gameplay. It's truly fantastic to witness the inclusion of a character in Street Fighter VI that pays homage to the legendary T. Hawk. Lily uses two ball-headed war clubs called Pagamagans to attack her opponents from surprising distances. She shares many of T. Hawk's techniques, including Tomahawk Buster, Condor Spire, and Condor Dive. However, she has her unique style that distinguishes her from him. For example, Condor Wind has Lily spinning her clubs, providing her with wind-clad stocks that enhance her special moves and super arts. She can also follow up with a downward strike to create combos, giving her the flexibility to store wind-clad stocks from close range or across the screen. Zangif, also known as the Red Cyclone, is a character in the Street Fighter series making his debut in Street Fighter II. He is a revered national hero in Russia, dedicated to fighting for the honor and glory of his country. Zangif is typically depicted as a fearless and strategic fighter, known for his quick temper and intense competitiveness. In Street Fighter VI, Zangif's appearance reflects a more robust build, 
opting for wrestling tights instead of trunks. He wears red and white tights with a black trim, complemented by a gold belt adorned with white cross lace straps. He retains his signature gold wristbands and red wrestling boots with a gold trim from his original outfit. Additionally, he now sports red elbow bands on each elbow. Zangief's fighting style is unique, relying on a repertoire of wrestling throws and grapples to engage his adversaries. He does not employ any projectile attacks, making him most effective at close range. Notably, he was the first fighting game character to utilize a 360-degree motion for a move. When in close proximity, Zangief possesses a range of devastating techniques capable of inflicting significant damage on his opponents. Johan Petrovich, also known as JP or the Regal Businessman, is a new character in Street Fighter VI. He is the head of Terra Network Partners NGO and appears to be polite and refined. However, during battles, he displays immense cruelty and sadism. His fighting stance involves hiding his psycho power behind his back. Unlike M. Bison, JP conceals his true intentions and dismisses concerns from other characters. JP is an elderly but well-built man who wears orange dress pants, a matching vest, and a frilled short-sleeved shirt with a blue gem in the center. JP uses his Bartitz of fighting style to control the space around him and keep his opponents away while attacking from a distance. He wields his cane in his leading hand and charges his other hand with psycho power, using it to summon portals, spikes, and specters to do his bidding. He can also switch his cane to his other hand to execute these moves. Marissa, also referred to as the Glory Seeker, is a character in the Street Fighter games, introduced in Street Fighter VI. She is a fierce and passionate fighter who takes pleasure in combat. Despite her intimidating appearance and aggressive techniques, Marissa follows a code of sportsmanship and compliments her opponents after the match. She also has an affinity for fine art and jewelry, sometimes painting her nails before matches. In terms of appearance, Marissa has bob-length red hair styled to resemble a Spartan helmet, which she carries with her during her introduction. She wears a gold-trimmed black outfit consisting of a sports top, shorts modeled after a singular military, and foot guards. Additionally, she has red wraps on her wrists and calves, red lipstick and nail polish, and a beauty mark beneath her left eye. Marissa is a powerful fighter in close to mid-range combat, with high damage output. Many of her attacks have super armor, which makes it dangerous for opponents to try to interrupt her moves. Her scutum stance counters mid and high attacks with a shove, leaving her at an advantage. From this stance, she can execute her overhead to nitrous and advancing low procella attacks, as well as her command grab and fold. Her other moves are focused on delivering heavy hitting strikes, such as her slow jumping punch, phalanx, and her charged straight punch, gladius. Manon, known as the judoka ballet dancer, is a French fighting game character from Street Fighter VI. She is a judoka fighter who also has a passion for ballet. Manon is an idealistic person who seeks self-improvement in beauty and enjoys street fighting, aspiring to become the world's strongest model using her fighting skills. She can be snobbish and haughty, and she loves fighting strong opponents, similar to Karen Kenzuki and Cody. Manon has short light pink hair styled with hand-cut bangs and longer fringes on each side, resembling a swan. Her fighter outfit is a revealing white GI top with aqua blue trim, puffy sleeves tucked into her black judo belt, a royal blue high-neck singlet with a gold pendant, and red, white, and blue linings that reveal her thighs on each side. She also wears blue footguards with white linings, and her nails are painted like the French flag. Manon combines judo and ballet, using her, dancing, moves to execute various maneuvers with her opponent. She can attack from a distance with her long legs, complementing her powerful close-range throws. Her potent kicks include Ron Point, an anti-air kick that can lead into a renverse if done early, and Degage, a series of kicks that can hit high or low depending on the strength used. 
DJ, also known as the Music Superstar, is a character from the Street Fighter video game series who first appeared in Super Street Fighter 2. He is a famous Jamaican kickboxer, known not only for his fighting skills but also for his worldwide recognition as a musician and recording artist. DJ is a cheerful and good-natured person who loves dancing, composing rhythms, and fighting. He is often seen smiling and making a thumbs-up hand gesture in his in-game poses and pictures. DJ has a positive outlook on life and rarely gets upset or sad, always seeing the bright side of everything. Despite his laid-back attitude, he will not tolerate belligerent troublemakers at his performances, and will literally kick them out if necessary. In Street Fighter VI, DJ has shoulder-length dreadlocks and wears a light red headband. He wears a red, yellow, and black open mini jacket with green fern designs, and his pants are green with cross black and yellow linings. DJ's fingerless gloves are yellow and red with two white linings, and he wears beach sandals instead of being barefoot. The color scheme of his pants resembles the Jamaican flag, and the color scheme of his mini jacket nearly resembles the signature colors used by the late Jamaican singer, Bob Marley. DJ's fighting style combines kickboxing with dancing, seeing it as a form of art, similar to Elena's views on Capoeira. He is a well-rounded charge character with a wide range of defensive options, similar to Guile. His moves include the double rolling sobat, which allows him to approach an opponent while discouraging a ground-based counter. Jackknife maximum and machine gun upper can be used as both an anti-air and a combo finisher while Air Slasher is a solid projectile for both zoning and approaching, similar to Sonic Boom. E. Honda, also known as the sumo wrestler chef, is a well-known character in the Street Fighter series. He is a sumo wrestler who values tradition and first appeared in Street Fighter 2. E. Honda is a friendly and honorable man who welcomes those he perceives as good. He has a strong ambition to display the strength of sumo wrestling to the world and always trains and fights with great dedication. E. Honda also enjoys taking hot baths, and his favorite spot is Kapukanyu. In Street Fighter 6, E. Honda wears a black yukata with teal and yellow stripes, with the folded sleeves in red. He wears only the left half-sleeve of his yukata and sarasher shorts in contrast to wearing a fundoshi. He wears Zora sandals instead of being barefoot. E. Honda's fighting style is based on sumo wrestling, but he also incorporates several unique moves that would be prohibited in a formal sumo match. His goal is to promote sumo wrestling, but this is somewhat undermined by his unorthodox techniques. E. Honda's overall style involves baiting jumps and surprising opponents with sudden attacks. He has a balanced mix of offense and defense, but his moves are slow and challenging to execute. He is vulnerable to counterattacks from projectiles, and his attacks can be avoided with a proper jump. Dalsam, known as the Yoga Master in the Street Fighter series, made his debut in Street Fighter 2. As a practitioner of yoga, he possesses the extraordinary ability to stretch his body and generate fire. Dalsam is characterized by his stoic and serious demeanor. He maintains a strong sense of self-discipline, humility, and sternness when necessary. Being a pacifist, he adheres to a strict code of not causing excessive harm or killing even the most evil adversaries like M. Bison. This pacifistic nature extends to his role as a loving father and husband exemplifying his compassion towards his family. In Street Fighter VI, Dalsam's upper body features additional red marks, and he now wears a white bindi on his forehead. Dalsam is renowned as the original long-range fighter in fighting games. Through his rigorous training, he has achieved the ability to contort and elongate his limbs in ways that defy human limitations. By projecting his arms and legs outward, he can execute attacks from distances that are beyond the reach of normal limbs. Additionally, Dalsam possesses teleportation skills, enabling him to maintain distance and evade his opponents. Among his remarkable abilities, Dalsam can breathe fire in various manners. 
while earlier releases suggested that his fire breathing was a result of consuming curry according to Capcom USA. The story was later modified by Capcom of Japan. Attributing his fiery prowess to a blessing from Agni, the Hindu god of fire. A subsequent English manual for Super Street Fighter II on the Super Nintendo clarified that the flames stem from his mastery over unleashing his latent kundalini energies during his training. Blanca, also known by his birth name Jimmy, is a character in the Street Fighter series, making his debut in Street Fighter II. He is a feral man hailing from the Brazilian jungle, possessing green skin and the unique ability to generate electricity. Despite his wild appearance, Blanca generally exhibits a passive and docile nature. He values the importance of family connections, friendships, and has a fondness for children. However, when provoked or angered, Blanca unleashes his inner animalistic instincts, attacking his opponents with ferocious and predatory rage. In Street Fighter VI, Blanca can be seen sporting a yellow bandana around his neck. He wears blue short overalls with a single strap on the left side, and the left portion of the overalls features a design of a cheerful smiley face. Despite primarily utilizing charge-based moves, Blanca's fighting style emphasizes speed and unpredictability. His unusual appearance and agile movements often catch opponents off guard, as he delivers attacks with unexpected range and sudden ferocity. The majority of his attacks revolve around different variations of his rolling attack. Blanca's incredible jumping speed allows him to swiftly evade projectiles and strike opponents before they can react. Ken Masters, also known as the Frame Champion, is a key character in the Street Fighter series, making his debut in the original Street Fighter game. Like his close friend and rival Ryu, Ken's aspiration is to test his skills against various fighters and continually improve, but he exercises more caution to safeguard his family life. In Street Fighter VI, Ken's blonde hair returns to its original appearance from his playable role in Street Fighter III. He no longer wears a red GI and instead adopts an outfit inspired by his second alternate costume in Street Fighter V. His leather jacket is replaced by a hooded jacket that extends below the knee. Featuring the Eagle Shipping Company sign on the back. The jacket has white folded sleeves that reach his mid-forearm. Beneath it, he sports a black tank top, red trousers with a loose gray drawstring, and yellow high-top sneakers with blue linings at the back. Ken retains his iconic yellow gloves along with a pair of black training gloves and a family necklace around his neck. Ken's moveset mirrors that of Ryu. He possesses a slightly less powerful Hadouken, a more horizontally inclined Shoryuken capable of hitting up to three times and igniting opponents. And a Tatsumaki Senpukiyaku that can strike up to five times without causing a knockdown. Additionally, he has acquired a set of command normal kicks, originally introduced in the Street Fighter Alpha series, which have been incorporated into his standard move list alongside his other special attacks. Han Yuri, also referred to as the Sadistic Thrill Seeker, is a character in the Street Fighter series, first introduced in Super Street Fighter 4. She is a ruthless Taekwondo martial artist from South Korea who derives pleasure from causing pain to others. Yuri possesses an extraordinary power and a distinct eye that sets her apart from ordinary fighters. She is akin to an untamed creature, driven by a desire to destroy and consume everything in her path. In her relentless pursuit of power, she has modified her own body, disregarding any laws or moral boundaries. Her attire consists of a purple dudu, a Chinese bra-like top, supported by eight straps forming a spider-like pattern on her back. She wears loose, off-white sweatpants and purple tights, accompanied by long fingerless gloves. Her fingernails and toenails are brightly painted in pink. Yuri's dark hair is styled into two horn-like structures on top of her head, secured with pink ribbons. She also wears taekwondo foot wraps. In combat, Yuri employs Taekwondo techniques, similar to other characters who practice this Korean martial art in fighting games. She is an aggressive-oriented fighter, specializing in rushdown tactics, with a moveset predominantly focused on a variety of kicks. 
Yui's style is characterized by flamboyance and a penchant for toying with her opponents. She excels in bursts of aggression and playing footsies, strategically engaging in close combat. One of Yuri's unique abilities is a short-range projectile that can be charged similarly to Balrog's Turn Punch or El Fuerte's Quesadilla Bomb. When charged, she performs a high kick that leaves behind an energy trail, capable of striking nearby opponents or canceling out incoming projectiles when timed correctly. Kimberly Jackson, also known as the Ninja Star, is a character in the Street Fighter games. She was first glimpsed in Street Fighter SIXS second trailer before being officially confirmed at the end of the 2022 EVO tournament. Kimberly is an African-American ninja girl Kunoichi fighter who received training in the Bushinria style under Guy, but she adds her own unique twist to it. Kimberly has dark brown skin and her hair is braided into five sections with blue dye tips. Her eyes are brown and she exudes a vibrant and energetic demeanor. Despite her young age, Kimberly possesses an incredible amount of talent and enthusiasm. She has a deep passion for art and a fondness for all things 80s. Kimberly is a prodigious individual who completed college early and showcases immense combat potential. Her default outfit features an African-inspired pattern headband and ascot. She wears a red cropped puffer jacket with white trims, red gloves, black capris, and red sneakers with white soles and blue laces. Kimberly also adorns yellow wrist and leg wraps, and she carries a blue cassette player on her leg, accompanied by matching earbuds. Being a student of Guy, Kimberly employs her master's renowned Bushinria style of ninjutsu. She incorporates some of Guy's signature moves, such as the somersault or leaping side kick. Additionally, she utilizes her own variation of Hosanto, using her front elbow as a striking weapon instead of a turning elbow. While she follows the theme of a ninja, Kimberly infuses a modern twist and unique interpretations of ninja abilities into her fighting style. For instance, she employs spray paints typically used for graffiti, which play a significant role in many of her skills, serving as substitutes for conventional ninja elements. For example, a cloud of paint acts as a smoke bomb when she teleports and her super art involves spraying her opponent with graffiti. Many of her acrobatic moves and animations draw inspiration from cheerleading poses, further distinguishing her style. Gal, also referred to as the Air Force pilot, is one of the main characters in the Street Fighter series, first appearing in Street Fighter 2. He holds the rank of colonel in the United States Air Force and is determined to eradicate the criminal organization known as Shadowloo. Simultaneously, Guile is on a quest to uncover the fate of his best friend, Charlie Nash. Guile's character embodies the all-American image, often seen wearing military fatigues and sporting United States flag tattoos on each shoulder. In line with United States military protocol, the stars on his tattoos are positioned on the left side to create the illusion of the flag flying towards battle. Given the significant presence of United States Armed Forces bases in Japan, the image of the uniformed American airman is widely recognized there. In Street Fighter VI, Guile adopts a new appearance. He now sports a facial beard and eyebrows, along with a blue military sleeveless vest adorned with emblems. His matching jeans resemble a military pilot jumpsuit. Underneath his outerwear, he wears a white short-sleeve hoodie with rolled-up sleeves, giving it a sleeveless appearance. His footwear consists of yellow shoes with green outlines reminiscent of sneakers. Throughout his various appearances, Guile's moveset has remained relatively consistent compared to other characters in the game. His arsenal primarily consists of two special moves the Sonic Boom and Flash Kick. Both of these moves require a charge motion, meaning Gao needs to maintain a specific charge direction to execute them. This aspect adds a layer of skill and necessitates strategic utilization, such as incorporating them into combos during opportune moments like jump-ins. Gao is often associated with a defensive playstyle rather than an offensive one, given the inherent challenges of employing him aggressively. 
His focus is on spacing and outmaneuvering opponents, staying a step ahead and executing his defensive patterns flawlessly. While Guile may appear to have limited options, his extensive range of unique attacks ensures that he remains unpredictable. Moves such as the spinning back knuckle, knee bazooka, and Guile high kick complement his special moves and enable him to control space, catch opponents off guard, and maximize damage in various situations. Understanding the right moments to employ these options is crucial to effectively mastering Guile's gameplay. Chun-Li, also known as the martial arts master, is a prominent character in the Street Fighter series, serving as the tritagonist and main female protagonist. She made her debut in Street Fighter II as the first female fighter in the series. Chun-Li is an expert martial artist and an officer of Interpol, driven by an unwavering desire for revenge against them, bison for her father's death. In Street Fighter VI, Chun-Li's hairstyle features unadorned ox horns with slicked back bangs. Her primary outfit has received minor updates. Her chi pao, resembling a chong sam, now features a pale blue color as the primary shade. The right short sleeve of her dress and her leggings retain her signature blue. The design patterns on her dress depict elements such as the sky, clouds, birds, and water. The outer part of her outfit predominantly features sky blue, while gold serves as the primary color on the inside, creating an inverted color scheme for the Chinese dress. Chunli replaces her previous pantyhose and boots with blue leggings and black Chinese toe shoes. Resembling the attire worn by her anime counterpart in Street Fighter 2V, her oxhorn hairstyle remains, but her buns are unadorned, and her bangs are tidier, neatly framing her forehead. Chun-Li is renowned as the original fast character in the Street Fighter series, relying on rapid attacks rather than the slow, powerful strikes of larger characters like Zangif. Her agility and swift movements have made her a favorite among players. Interestingly, many other female characters in early arcade fighting games adopted a similarly speedy style, influenced by Chun-Li's example. While she was originally a charged character alongside Guile and E. Honda in games like Street Fighter 2, her style evolved in later games to provide a more technical feel, emphasizing her trademark speed. Jamie Shu, also known as the peacekeeping breakdancer, is a character in the Street Fighter games, making his debut as the first new character in Street Fighter 6. He serves as Luke's rival and is related to Yun and Yang as their cousin. Considered the self-proclaimed protector of his hometown, Jamie is a cheerful and confident young man who holds himself in high regard. However, he shows respect to his elders, particularly his grandmother and Chun-Li. He takes pleasure in assisting others and even offers to help Ken and Yuri with their personal issues. Jamie has a tan complexion and sports a Ben Patsa hairstyle with an undercut, similar to Luke's regular hairstyle. When Jamie reaches maximum drink level, his braid unravels, and his hair flows freely. His default outfit is a modernized kung fu attire, featuring a yellow hoodie-like top with red drawstrings and white trims, matching yellow pants, a brown rope belt, and grayish sneakers with white soles. He carries a small black gourd with a red rope tie, reminiscent of the rope used in capoeira. Jamie practices Zaekwon, a Chinese drunken fist style, which turns seemingly uncontrolled movements into an unpredictable fighting style. He incorporates breakdancing into his moves, showcasing grounded spin kicks and handstands. Jamie possesses a unique drinking mechanic called the Devil Inside, which grants him new special moves and options as he consumes more drinks. He can have a maximum of four drink levels, and drinking one already at the maximum level replenishes one drive bar. Some of his attacks also increase his drink level upon landing, but Jamie must complete the animation to do so. When fully leveled up, Jamie's shirt becomes undone, his hair becomes unruly, and his stance changes. He gains access to his full move set and can unleash a variety of mix-up options, including a command grab and several target combos. One of his unique target combos, called Ranceway Haze, can only be used at level 4 and can be cancelled on the first hit for a distinctive backstep maneuver.
Luke Sullivan, also known as the gym coach, is a character in the Street Fighter series. He made his debut as the final character in the fifth season pass of Street Fighter V, Champion Edition and serves as the ultimate playable character in the Street Fighter V series. In Street Fighter VI, he returns as the main protagonist and acts as a coach for the player's custom character in the World Tour game mode. In Street Fighter VI, Luke sports a modern outfit comprising black pants and a blue sleeveless hoodie over a white fitted shirt adorned with orange designs that match his chest tattoos. He retains his yellow MMA gloves from his primary attire in Street Fighter V. Notably, his forearms no longer bear star tattoos but show visible scars. He no longer wears tooth braces or a bandage between his eyes and nose. His face bears prominent scars, particularly over his right eye, which he obtained during the Nashal incident. Luke specializes in overwhelming offense at mid-range and close quarters. His standing punches propel him forward, allowing him to punish opponents' mistakes and close the distance quickly. His primary tool is the flash knuckle a powerful blow that can be charged for added effects, such as increased safety or follow-up juggles. He also possesses the Rising Rocket, a strong anti-air attack with anti-projectile capabilities. Despite excelling in close combat, Luke maintains a formidable presence even at a distance with the high-speed Sand Blaster. When combined with his advancing punches, it enables him to adopt a defensive playstyle as well. Ryu is the main character in the Street Fighter series and first appeared in the original Street Fighter game. He is a highly skilled martial artist who dedicates himself to rigorous training in his quest to become the strongest fighter. Despite his serious commitment to martial arts, Ryu also possesses a playful and carefree side to his personality. He can become easily annoyed when he's hungry. This light-hearted trait is commonly seen in Shounen main characters like Son Goku from Dragon Ball and Luffy from One Piece and it is still evident in Ryu in modern portrayals. Ryu is most recognized for his iconic white karate GI with the sleeves torn off, a black martial arts belt, a long red headband, medium-length hair, and bare feet. In Street Fighter VI, Ryu's appearance has been updated. He now wears brown gloves instead of hand wraps, and his black belt has white outlines and wraps. Additionally, he wears brown wooden sandals instead of being barefoot. However, he still maintains his signature look with the white karate GI and torn off sleeves. Ryu's fighting style is commonly referred to as Shotokan, although it bears limited resemblance to the real life martial art. His normal attacks do exhibit some similarities, especially in relation to Hapkido, as seen in the in depth names of his normal attacks in Japanese sources. Ryu's approach combines elements of the unnamed Ansatsuken style with his own interpretation of Shotokan. He focuses on delivering powerful individual strikes that often knock down his opponents, with his trademark Hadouken serving as the centerpiece of his arsenal. 